Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with uh, another exciting tutorial on GitHub Actions. So in this video, we are going to see the continuous uh, integration and continuous deployment of uh, a Java project using Maven build and testing and uh, packaging uh, as part of the overall uh, GitHub workflow. So this will be a very interesting tutorial. So let me uh, give you a pictorial representation of the workflow, what we are going to do. So you will have our uh, no, the code, the code you know, where we make the changes like commit, uh, everything we do it in through GitHub and uh, Git commands. And once you do the Git commit, we'll have a build, which will be doing the build of your uh, Maven project, uh, the Java Maven project. And also we'll be having testing as part of our, our workflow and also once we do the workflow so this the build and test would be the ci pipeline side and then we'll also have the packaging part of the pipeline so we'll do the packaging of our uh, the java application so you, you know usually once we do the package we get some kind of jar file or war file out of the maven project right so this will be the continuous workflow for the github action uh, in this tutorial okay and uh, what we will be doing is we are going to see the step-by-step -step process how we are going to do uh, the code like we uh, i will show you the the project which i'm going to use i will also talk about the code of or the code the java project what part we are going to talk about the build stuff the testing and uh, what kind of uh, dependencies we are using and uh, we also see hands-on like how we come in the code from our uh, Windows machine to the github uh, repository and once you do the github we also write down uh, we'll talk about the github workflow uh, the yaml file and how it is defined and all those things will be talked about so once we do the commit or push we will have the github workflow running and at the end we will have the package ready okay so this will be the overall workflow for this tutorial and before i get into the actual uh, demo and talking more about the showing about this process of uh, github workflow i would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button like my video and also share with your colleagues friends or your uh, social media so that others can get benefited okay now in order to get started uh, what we need to do uh, as part of this uh, building and testing of java project with maven and using github workflow you need to have some pre-requests right to get started so you need to have a maven java project so don't worry about that it's very really pretty simple i will share my github repository in this video description you just copy it from it or fork it so you can use that for your uh, project okay and you need to have a git install on your machine so that you know once you do the changes on your local machine you need to commit uh, and push those things into the uh, uh, git repository so you need to have a git install and also you need to know the basic understanding of some git commands okay so that is also uh, not much you know complicated so you can learn it from this video itself so if you don't know anything about uh, gate or java anything don't worry you just follow this tutorial you are good to go and uh, what we will do as part of this tutorial would be like uh, the complete uh, ci pipeline and also the packaging part of the uh, java project using github actions right so Overall process, what we will do is we will do the complete understanding of what Java project which we are going to use. I will show you all those details and also we will learn about the GitHub Actions workflow, how we write down the workflow and we will see how the building and testing of the code works and also we will be using the caching of the dependencies for our Maven and also uh, we'll see the, how we, the workflow for the packaging and you know the artifacts will be stored in the different location once the package has been done. So what uh, we are going to see is like there will be three uh, main part of the workflow. Okay, this is just the pictorial representation. I'm going to show you the detail in the code. So just to show you like, you know, what we are going to do is we'll have a first part, which is to talk about the push or the pull part. This is mainly to how to define when the GitHub workflow to start. Okay, so there are different uh, syntax you can use, but uh, I will talk about that in the code. And the second part would be the build and test part of the GitHub workflow, where we'll be defining the operating system or, or on the runner, uh, the runner on which this uh, job has to be run, and also the different kind of uh, commands like to check out uh, using JDK. Uh, runners and also how you can run the caching of the maven and also you how do you package your uh, application using maven command okay 
and also you, the second part would be the published job okay so which will uh, run on again uh, a runner and uh, which also need uh, to integrate with the build and test so that you know it, it continues only after the first stage is completed and we will also see how we can package and we can push or the action for uploading the artifact uh, as a package and to a different location called staging so that is what we are going to do as part of the overall process so I have a uh, git installed and uh, I have the repository github uh, maven project here and I have the code uh, here as well so let me show you the code so you can see I have the code the, the github workflow is for uh, our workflow so I have the main code here the pom.xml so you, this will be the main uh, file for uh, maven project where we'll be defining uh, you know what uh, the artifact should uh, the naming should be like the artifact will be at the end will be stored as gs hyphen maven it's, it will be a jar file and the version number will be here and you are using the maven compilers and also you can see we are using dependencies like uh, yoda uh, time and also you like uh, junit for testing so these will be used inside our uh, the source file so you, you, i have uh, two uh, src file one is for greeter.java and the other one is for hello.java so it's pretty simple uh, code so you can see this this is during uh, using the your your time uh, that is why we have that dependency is up on the pom.xml we also have a test which is the greater te test where you are using junit for testing so that's why you have the pom.xml with the the junit uh, testing right and that uh, the next page would be like the build so you have the build options or of the maven plugin and it's pretty simple project okay so as i mentioned you don't have to worry much you can just use this uh, repository so i will share this into the video description which uh, you can just uh, clone it or just you can fork it and we are going to talk about the yaml file so i have named it as maven.yaml and uh, this will be our github workflow file and uh, the name of the workflow will be like maven publish you can give any name if you want okay and uh, i also given like uh, the on this step as i mentioned this is based on on what scenario you want to start your ci pipeline right or github workflow actions so it takes two uh, variables here like um, if any actions like in the main branch so it can be other branches if you want to define For what i uh, mentioned is main branch if there is a commit to the main branch or if there are pull requests to the main branch this uh, workflow will get started and if you see this first job is for the build and test where it runs on the Ubuntu latest uh, runner. If you want to use a different runner, you can also check the commands for the GitHub. You also have Windows runner, so you can use that. Okay. And also you are using, you know, the, you're using this action. So check out, so it will check out the GitHub uh, uh, repository for the Git workflow to run. And also you are setting up the JDK so you're using this action and you can also set the Java versions uh, and the distribution here so here also you have different uh, options you have which you need to go through the github uh, documentation you can use different version based on the need and you also caching the maven this is important because once you run the uh, build for the first time uh, what all the dependencies which we need for this maven project those will be cached uh, as part of this caching process so when the next uh, run it, uh, it does you don't need to download all those uh, dependencies again and what we are doing is part of this step is like you're building the uh, maven uh, java project using maven so that you ultimately you get your uh, .jar file or tar file or dwar which will be exported into the target uh, folder right so what we are doing is like you are using the package um, for the maven and you you should know if you don't know you should have a look on the different maven uh, life cycle so you have different uh, maven life cycle like avian test avian package avian different kind of uh, a life cycle so you can have a look which is best you know which we need to use for which stages and uh, once you have the packaging done we are going to do the publishing so again we can, you are using the ubuntu latest and you are uh, defining the needs this is because unless this stage is uh, successful this uh, part should not be job should not be started so that's why we need needs and it should match to this name which you have defined build underscore test so that you know this stage of uh, published job will start only if the previous job is successful and you are going to use again the java and we are going to use uh, ver verify option here 
from MVN uh, stage and you are also going to create a folder called staging so that's why MKDR staging and you are going to copy the folder like um, it would be like GS hyphen maven which is but we just put the star so it copies all dot jar file from the target usually you'll have uh, the files uh, after the build getting saved under target folder so it's going to copy that into this folder of staging and we are going to use upload artifact so that you know the package is the uh, the name of the upload will be like uh, its name saved as a package so what i'm going to do is i have my git so if i go to git status i have made some changes here so because of that i need to make this commit so i'm going to add git add so these are basic commands so as i mentioned if you don't know you just follow it or you can just have a look on my tutorials on git and uh, i'm going to use uh, git commit and i'm going to save it as a uh, new commit okay and uh, you can see the file has changed and i'm going to use git push hyphen u origin main okay okay so let me see it was because of the uh, typo here you have a space so you need to uh, not to leave the space so if i go back to my github uh, uh, repository you have the commit and if i go to github action you can see the new commit which i given it started the build okay so you can see the workflow which i have named as maven build and publish artifact if i go to the git commit it started the first job of build and text so if i go inside it you can see the different uh, steps we given right so the, so the setting up the job runners and then it's finished the building part and if i go to the publish job you can see now it's running the published job so only if the build and test is green it will go to the next stage so you can see the published job is running now and uh, let's wait for that to be completed you can see now the published job is also completed and you can see the different step where we define about the verify making the dir and upload directory for staging and we are also uploading it and it's completing the job so now if i go back to the backstage you can see uh, the both uh, this is completed and you can see there is a uh, package right this is the artifact it has already uploaded it so if i download this package if i download this package which will be like package.zip so i just uh, download it to the folder if I go and check the folder, you can see gs-maven, the version 101 jar, uh, the file which is we talk, talk about, you know, the maven build, which will put it to the target and is copied uh, to the package and it's uh, uploaded there. So we can download it from here. Now, if I go back to my main workflow, you can also see there is something called uh, cache. So you can see it has also cached the dependencies for this job so this is also done as part of our job so this is the workflow and uh, it, this is the workflow which has been run and it's successful so it will show you the different stages the jobs which we run and each stages and the artifacts so it's pretty simple okay so as i mentioned what you need to do is if you have any queries if you want to practice just uh, use this uh, project which i have a link to the video description where you can get the overall project and also the github uh, workflow uh, which i have put into this uh, maven file so you can use this one and you can uh, uh, learn from this uh, project okay so this will be very interesting and i'm sure it will be helpful for you so just to recap this is what we did we had the code we did the commit we made the changes and it started the build and test pipeline and then we also did the packaging and we did all this using the github actions workflow so you don't need, you're not using any jenkins or gitlab or any other kind of uh, ci pipeline tool so we can use everything in the uh, github uh, actions as well so thank you for watching and I'm sure you enjoyed this video. If you have any feedbacks, put it into the comment section. And if you are new to my channel, if you are not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button, like my video, share and give your feedback in the comment section.